Welcome back to some more World Cup gameplay stuff. And today we got Germany v Sweden. I've got to speed this up because I need to get it uploaded today and edited, thumbnailed, and put up. And I've still got a problem with the Mexico game. So if that didn't come out on time, but most of you don't watch it on time, so it's fine, hopefully. Um, yeah, me, I tried to put in a... Uh, started and uh, instantly FIFA were like, bam, you ain't having that. Bit of an echo, don't worry, it's gone now. Uh, yeah, BBC, um, FIFA jumped straight on that and said, that's copyrighted, get rid of it, the video's not going up. So, hopefully I can get that edited and put out on time. But for now, we've got Germany v Sweden, I've got to edit, I've got to upload this and edit it. So I want to keep it as little editing as possible. So if, it, if, it, if you don't want to lag, that's fine. Because my last game, it also lagged, and I had to cut that bit out. But it's fine, because it was a six minute game, so cutting that bit, that bit out, still kept it about the same as the other ones. So it's fantastic. Anyway, Germany, going into this game, losing, having lost to Mexico. But this is a nice through ball here, cut out by Larsen. Werner with the shot, wide and bad. Germany looking to get something out of this game. Because if they don't, they're out, really. Because Sweden would be our six points. Then it would be up to if Mexico won. And in our group, Mexico won. So, you know, just finished watching Belgium v Tunisia. That was a 5-2 game. Probably one of the most entertaining games watched. Sweden on the attack here. Bird just wide. Deflected by Boateng. I need to record some of tomorrow's videos as well. Like, I'm falling behind drastically here. I expected my brother to go out today so I could record a ton of them, and he hasn't. So I've got to record a ton, I've got to record a ton of them with possible lag and World Cup games which I want to watch on as well. It's hard. Uh, tomorrow, England plays, so I won't be uploading during the England game. Kimmich with the shot, saved by Olsen. But when I have time, what other games are there tomorrow? Is there a boring game which I don't want to watch? Possibly. If so, I might just go on a mass recording spree then. Tomorrow. 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 I love you. Tomorrow. It's only a day of me. Ball comes in, Boateng! Wide. Oh, he's good at that, isn't he? He really does connect well with those neck muscles. Oh, with those neck muscles. Right. Japan, Senegal, and Poland, Colombia. Poland, Colombia sounds boring, but that's a late thing. Um, yeah, I might just not watch Japan, Senegal. I got, to, I got to record it today, so that's what I have Who knows? Just got to get the videos pumped out. Can't record any on Monday. But Tuesday, I'd be pushing it. Um, I need to record Mondays and Tuesdays. And so I've got to record Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And maybe Wednesday. Wednesday on the Thursday, maybe. Uh, Wednesday on the Tuesday, maybe. Or one of the Wednesday, which I don't know. Basically, what I'm saying is I don't have time. The quarterfinals can't come quick enough, because when the quarterfinals are here, we're good. There's four games on Monday, isn't there? There's four games for every other... Oh, there's four games every day. From Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Possibly till Friday. But then it's out at the group stages and then to the knockout stages. So, you know. That's my thought process at the moment. Nothing really happened here. Nearly gave away a penalty, but it's about for a goal kick. Germany looking threatening, but not that threatening. Not much happening, really. 
Shot saved by Olsen. If you can't tell, I'm not interested in this game at the moment. Pretty flipping boring. Expected more from Germany. I thought I was going to have an entertaining, entertaining half. After coming off the Mexico game, I was in a good mood for watching this, but uh, Germany just haven't proven a thing. Now, if Sweden draw this, they're in a much better state than Germany. It all comes down to goal difference. Right? Germany would have to smash. Who's the other person? Korea. And to be honest, they probably could. So. Maybe Sweden would go out on goal difference, but that's not good for Germany. I think in this actual game, Sweden will look to defend as much as they can and look to get a lucky goal out of maybe a set piece or a break pretty much like Mexico did but Mexico had a lot more breaks and a lot more opportunities than I can see Sweden getting in the end of the day I see Germany winning this game but I feel like Sweden will put up a good fight possibly not one of the most interesting games to watch but you know Werner Laird. Throw in to come. Surprised he's not picking his nose. Who's he doing that? Maybe the man who doesn't realise he's on live TV when he's doing football matches. Sweden able to clear, and they do. Berg. Forsberg. It's a combination of skill and will to hold off the opposition. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Sweden. Cut out. Larsen tries to win it back. Fails to. Germany playing it around the back. Kimmich. Muller. Chris. Werner. with the guns. Olsen. Somebody, some Swedish block. Through ball comes in. Berg gets it. Boateng then goes and tackles Berg. Calera, no substitutions yet, is there? Muller, mind the ball hasn't gone out in a while. Foul. Are you going to see any substitutions now? There we go. Germany, Muller coming off from Royce. Had a bit of pace into the squad. Sweden make a substitution, but I didn't show it. Daddy, that sounds very much like an Italian name. Draxler, Ozil, Draxler, Green. Plattenhart coming up behind him. Plays it through to Ozil, back to Chris. Chris finds Kimmich. Kimmich with the cross cut out by the Swedes. Forsberg to Larsen, Boateng with the tackle, but Sweden still clean. Forsberg, through ball to Berg here. Berg, down to Thingy, Forsberg, into noise. For a second I thought we were going to see Sweden score, but you know. Clinical finishes they have up front. Ball comes over to that guy. Lassen, I think it was Berg. Bad touch. Germany can clear. They're making a mess of it here. Hummels smacks it up to the Swedes. Sweden look to counter again. Berg slightly offside. Is that him going off? No. Werner. 
Drexler. Boateng playing up front now, so Sweden do have a counter-attack possibility. Werner, Sweden clear. Six minutes left. Sweden probably looking for a draw now. Plan B, Mario Gomez is on the Z pitch. They're going to be looking to cross it into him. Sweden able to clear calmly. Ozil gets man of the match. Yet nothing has happened. Forsberg. Sweden looking for a late winner here. Forsberg shielding the ball. Down here, he's unmarked. Plays it through, is cut up by Chris. Looks like it's going to be a draw. And do you know the funny thing? In the whole World Cup so far, which I've watched, not a single draw. Not a single draw, but FIFA has given us loads of draws. Germany looking like they could go out of the group. But of course, Sweden would have to beat Mexico to 100% secure that, and Mexico have to beat South Korea to 100% secure that. So, you know. All to play for if this happens. Marco Royce stepping up for Germany. Bam! Just under the keeper. Unlucky, but I guess you could call it a good penalty. Neuer looking to save Germany here. And does not. That's the first chip shot we've actually seen scored. Tony Kulis up against Olsen. Hits the post. See, watching these penalty shootouts has actually helped me play in the AI. Because I know how they do their penalties most of the time now. If they're a bad penalty taker, they'll smack it the way they're looking. If they're a good one, they'll smack it the opposite way. Okay, Kadir kind of messed that up. Noya has to save this to give him a chance, really. What the bloody hell is he playing at? We always have one idiot which does that. I don't get it. Gomez. Slides it in nicely. That's what she said. Bird. Saved. Now, if Hummels scores, the centre back Hummels scores, Germany win. And it's saved. Oh! It all comes down to Glassin. Glassin? Has to score to keep Sweden in it. And he hits the bar, of course he does. We never get past five penalties. There's never a six. Well, that was a boring ass game. Um, I hope you all enjoyed anyway. I didn't exactly make it interesting either, but sure, it was, it was, it was eh. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Comment, subscribe if you want to. And do you think Germany are going to qualify through the group? And if so, where do you think they're going to finish? No one's going to probably leave a comment, but sure, I'll, I'll leave that question out there. See ya.